موڈی اسلیپ ایٹ دا پوسٹ دا سیکنڈ کوشچن ریز بائی یو از پرسنالٹی ورسز پالیٹیشین آئی سی دا ٹو آر لنکڈ مسٹر موڈیز پرسنالٹی اینڈ از اپیل ایز اے پالیٹیشین is entirely different to Mr. Vajpayee's personality and his appeal as a politician. You know, there's, there's this is one final data point that I want to refer to and I just want to go back to our, into our Insta trackpad once more. And this compares the mood of the nation data from September 1999. Remember, uh, that's when the polls happened in 1999 after the Khargil war. During the polls, people were asked, who do you think is the best person to lead the country? 52% in that poll, just bring the camera closer so our viewers can see it. 52% in that poll said Vajpayee, only 47% are saying Modi currently. There's still a 5% gap between the popularity enjoyed by Vajpayee before he became Prime Minister again in 1999 and the popularity of Modi which is 47 in comparison with the 52 of Vajpayee. He might be the brightest spark Sunil Alag in the BJP but when it comes to the original hero for the BJP, Modi still has a long way to go sir. You know, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, what I like about this debate is that the two most popular leaders that have been produced in India in the last 20 years is either Vajpayee or Modi. Both are from the BJP. What we are now debating is who is more acceptable to political parties. So as far as I'm concerned, Vajpayee was a statesman of a, of a which is going to be hard to match. But popularity level today, what the younger generation is very ambitious. The younger generation wants jobs. The younger generation wants inflation to be brought down. There was an era in 1999 when the economic situation was nowhere near what it is today. Okay. So there could be this alliance approach of having 26 parties together. Today the younger generation is saying I don't want more than three or four parties to come together in the center form one thing which is decisive and to hell with 14 parties getting together. Sorry, can, I'm just giving a view, Pavan. I'm not, I'm not saying you have every right to disagree with me. But they do not want the hodgepodge of what Manmohan Singh has run. Where a Mamta says, I no, will but you may not want, want that want hodgepodge. That's the, not necessarily so, what the so mood what of the I'm nation saying, data no, second, reveals at this finish. time. Let, a lot of uh, people no, getting I carried away, maybe I, Chandan I, Mitra in the euphoria and the hope. No, no, the BJP hasn't yet got 220, 240 seats. You're still at 182. No, no, you quickly, still need the likes of a Mayavati, Mamta Banerjee and Jailalita to be able to form the next government. Minute, Chandan Mitra. Fundamental point. Sunil, Rahul, please. very quickly, Sunil, I just please. say the last word. Sunil, the Sunil. ideal combination then is Mr. Va if Mr. Vajpayee was not that ill and he was backing Modi, we would have an 80% popularity. We would have won with about 350 please. seats. Okay, it's Chandan Mitra, quickly, I'm out of time. Mr. Vajpayee is ill, my, otherwise my, you would have my, handed my, over the reins to Mr. Modi. Look, Okay. One minute, one minute, please. Why, you see, the first thing is that these opinion polls are not, are not actual figures. Opinion polls indicate you can't go down to the last decimal and uh, analyze that who is more popular, which party is going to win, exactly how many seats. This is not possible. No opinion poll in the world claims that even your poll talks of a margin of error. Absolutely. So let us not discuss these figures because they are absolutely impossible to actually ascertain. So, uh, the fact is, as Sunil did say, the two most popular mass leaders who have emerged are these two. So, who wins 2% more or less than 1% uh, will we'll know. Right. And that's why only for academic... Ji, well, very quickly, I'm out of time. I, us, I, I think us, the real story of, uh, of your poll, who? I think... And one, uh, one more uh, point. Uh, one Modi, one Narendra one Modi one eclipsing Vajpayee is not the real story. Both of them have actually eclipsed two generations of Nehru Gandhi dynasty. When it when Vajpayee's popularity yes. was at its peak, at its peak I, I think uh, Sonia Gandhi was really not able to really come out of the shadows. Okay. And Rahul Gandhi has been eclipsed by Vajpayee, uh, by me? Narendra Modi, I, I even before me. the campaign Chandan, has begun. 20 seconds, I'm out of time. Our next guest, Nar set of Narasimha, guests are waiting. Narasimha, Narasimha. 
Narsima, one minute. I have one, just one small point to make about my, with my friend Mr. Pawan Verma. I had, I had thought that out of intellectual honesty, Pawan Verma would have mourned the harakiri that his leader has performed. Instead, I find him applauding that his leader has performed a harakiri. He is about to get decimated in Bihar and he says we don't uh, play only for power. You are provoking a whole different party. debate. We will be here for the next 40 great, minutes great if song, I allow great, Pawan Varma to respond. Song, Thank you very much, gentlemen, Raul for joining us tonight. <laughs> Pavan, I am out of time Raul completely. Grapes are sour. You will allow me a rebuttal? Yes, you must I'm get a rebuttal. 20 seconds, said, please, no more. That when it concerns Mr. Modi, he doesn't believe in these polls. So we will see who gets decimated. Absolutely. We will know only towards the middle of May what happens. For what it's worth, three polls all directionally yes. indicating the same thing. We're slipping into a break. This is a comparison you will hear a lot more about over the next few weeks. And you've seen it and heard it and analyzed it first here on Headlines.